going to do a quick video on how to use this Pony 1500 electricity monitor. Fortunately, it's super easy to use, so once you get it out of the box, all you have to do is plug it into a regular wall outlet. It automatically turns on, and the settings are already in watts. So then you just have to plug in whatever appliance that you want to check. In this case, I have a small desk lamp. Then you have to turn on the appliance. And then it will automatically start telling you how much power it is drawing in watts. So you can watch the number, it'll move around some, and eventually it'll settle around one number. It may not completely stop moving around, but it should settle down to a number that's easy to track. In this case, it's between 1.21 and 1.22 watts. Now do pay close attention to the decimal point. It can move uh, or disappear completely if it's a really large number. So pay attention to where that decimal point is and make sure that you are in watts and didn't accidentally hit another button and are looking at a different unit. It will say W right underneath the number so that you know it is in watts. Now, this setting is really great to be able to check a bunch of appliances within your house. And you can quickly see how many watts all these different appliances are using. If you have something that its energy use changes from minute to minute a lot, or that cycles on and off a lot, like a refrigerator or a freezer, then I recommend using the kilowatt hour setting, which is this button on the far right. You press that button, and then it will start telling you how many kilowatt hours it has used over time since it has been plugged in. Now, in this case, of course, the number is really small because it's only been plugged in for a minute, but you can leave this plugged in for a day and you can get a much better understanding of how much energy it is using over time. Now, these are the two main settings that I use. You can also check out other settings like looking at the volts and amps. But this are the two that are most common for being able to identify what appliances are using a lot of energy in your home and being able to start saving money. Now, I will say that with this model, the 1500, the maximum wattage that it can measure is at 1500 watts. And so if you see a number flashing like 1500 or 1550, that just means that it has exceeded the amount of wattage that it can measure. So things like a really high powered microwave or a hairdryer might be in this range, but other things, pretty much everything else in your house will be well within that 1500 range. I hope this helps and best of luck. Hope that this helps you save some money within your own home.